Now, Ernie's, the name kind of all started obviously from my grandfather. Um, he's obviously the, the guy that owned the feed store before I uh, opened the bar. And um, he was also the justice of the peace uh, for the city. So a lot of people like to go into the feed store and just kind of talk to him, not even really buy anything at the feed store. They just kind of chatted with him. Had a nice little ring to it. You can go to Ernie's, it just makes sense. I'm Austin Schlauther. Um, I'm born and raised in Cibolo, Texas. Um, I went to school for business and um, just kind of didn't like the whole business route and, and wanting to work for somebody. I always had a ambition to want to own my own business and, and work for myself and um, you know found the opportunity with my family's feed store and um, just kind of hit the ground running. It's really a uh, it's a bar with a food truck park attached to it. Um, I have a really big area. I have a bunch of different um, food trucks that come out and I'm trying to keep it kind of rotating to always create a different experience. So Ernie, one of his favorite drinks was a Bloody Mary. So we have our uh, signature Bloody Mary um, recipe that we've been working on for a long time. We have a really, really good Bloody Mary, but between our whole menu, we have a list of different drinks, frozen drinks, mojitos, margaritas, the whole thing. So mission really all started with me needing a uh, bar equipment. Just all in all, y'all are so well-rounded. Um, it was a one-stop shop, so I didn't have to go to different people or different brands to find different equipment. Um, and again, the, the team to help me out, like literally create my bar. You know, literally every single bit of my bar equipment came from Mission Restaurant Supply. And um, you know, the, the whole team there was really, really accommodating. Um, you know, obviously as a new bar or new business in general, you don't have a ton of capital to just spend it willingly. So um, they really, really helped us out with budgeting, trying to find some used equipment, and also leasing out, like I was telling you as well. We've leased a couple different margarita machines. So I think the fact that y'all were just so well-rounded with the whole thing, and y'all weren't just trying to nickel and dime people, y'all were looking at the budget constantly and um, looking at different ways to make it more efficient. I think, um, you know, I don't think you should go anywhere else, to be honest. I definitely won't.